This is for all you uh, rabbit lovers. I want to give you a tour and chicken lovers of my um, rabbitry and my silky chickens. Uh, the name of my uh, Facebook group page is Mary's Bunny Love Rabbitry. And then I have another Facebook group page called Mary's Homestead Chickens. Okay, now the first thing that I do, I'm going to show you my routine, is usually this is left open. I just wanted to show you what I had done here. I did this all myself. Fixed it, this up on the side of my little rabbitry. Did all the stencil and painting myself, of course. I opened that up. I'll just leave it open so there's fresh air going through all the time. And as you see, I have a fan in there. This is what the outside looks like. I have rabbits out here. Three different rabbits. Let me shut that door. This is the outside. My husband did all this for me. Here's my chickens. He built all this this year for me. Let me show you my routine. I've already did it all this morning and I still have to clean out the rabbitry so it's not the best. I just want to tell you. If you think this is easy, <laughs> think again. Here's my barrels. I keep my chicken in here. That's chick feed for my small chicks. Here's what I use for my chicks right here when I hatch them out in the incubator. This is the best stuff right here. You can get it at Tractor Supply. That's where I usually purchase my uh, feed at. There's some uh, feed from my uh, chickens also. Chicken uh, scratch. Here's part of my pens right here, just to give you an idea. And I have everything in here. This is hay. I keep hay, continuously fresh hay for my rabbits. Feed, another barrel. All my necessities. Now this here pen, this little pen, it, it was my rabbit pen, but I started using it to outgrow my chicks when they first hatch. Of course, I have a light in there and everything. Here's one of my line heads. She's got three babies in there right now. All are sold. Here's one of my English Angora. She has two babies, which are sold. Now this part of my rabbitry, I closed it off. For the fact is that I wanted to let one of my Angoras just roam. She's down in here right now. She has plenty of water, food, hay. Just to give her something to do. I don't like my animals to get bored. She's got, here's another line head you can't see in there right now. I have a window here with the netting over top of it. So predators can't get in. So that way I have air flowing continuously when I have my fan on. And it blows all the way through. There's my fan. My grooming area right here. And I also put this um, ironing board rack. This old ironing board rack up here. That way I can just put it down. Lay it across. That's before I had this in here to groom my angoras on. Bought these curtains and just put a rope up. And hung them up. Dollar Tree a dollar. I bought like five of those. I didn't show you that. I mean this is some easy, simple, cheap stuff that you can do. Just like that. That way if I was going to use this section for my chicks. And flying and things. I didn't want them up on my cages and things. Or just to block airflow off. Or whatever. Okay, I just want to show you that. Now I'll take you out and show you the chickens. There's my little feist dog. She goes everywhere with me. It's Gypsy. She's my helper. And currently... I've got another little barn up in this area up in there. I don't think you can see it from here. Right now I have other chickens up in there. Ramas. But anyway. I did have rabbits there. And I had these uh, 
three rabbit pins here inside there all connected and my husband and I moved them down here down here to this rabbitry and put them on the outside so I could have rabbits on the outside down here so that worked out great for us I have two angoras out here hello boy hello pretty and a lion head all three bucks out here now sometimes I have this uh, I call it a rabbit tractor. A lot of people call them chicken tractors, but I have used it for both, either one, whatever you want to call it. I'll put my rabbit out here, one of the rabbits, and let them play throughout the day. Or I'll take a few chickens and let them come out and pick, um, which I can move it anywhere, anywhere that I want. You may be able to see the other barn up there in that other, uh, the other area up there. I don't think so, though. But anyway, I want to show you the... Uh, chicks I have in here. Now these chicks I got right here, I ordered them through the mail. Uh, ordered through eBay once and then the other two times, but it's from the same person. I found them on eBay. And they are on Facebook. It's uh, Hawkston Heaven Farms. And I ordered three separate times from them and I'm going to tell you, they are the best. Not one egg was broke in all three shipments. And the chicks are absolutely, they hatched nothing wrong with them uh like i said three times this was the last batch i got right here let me show them to you how beautiful they are there's a splash there's um black ones buffs and whites beautiful this was the second batch now they do all interact together but as you see right now they're all separating they're doing it on their own but they all interact and get along great and i've got partridges too from them right here look at this how beautiful there's a buff a white a black that was my second batch now this was my first batch and they're well the other ones are going in with them but i think you can still tell the difference there's two splash a white a buff and a black and the uh i've already figured out this one big splash here he's a roo roo he's already started crowing started crowing early and I think I got those eggs in mid-June so he's only eight weeks and he's crowing here's the other one and I believe it's a hen 